another video. I'm going to be doing a little get ready slash chit chat video um, for today. As y'all can tell, I already done my hair. I just straightened it. So nothing too special. Just straightened it. I'm going to do my makeup. Um, I'm not going anywhere special. I'm just kind of doing it. Um, I'm just going to Walmart to get a few things after I pick up my fiance from work. Um, I just got off work probably like an hour ago, so I'm going to do this video for y'all and then I'm going to go to town and I have just a few things to talk to you guys about. Um, nothing too, too exciting. I mean, it's exciting to me, but I don't know about y'all. So let's go ahead and jump to this video. First, I do my primer and for primer, I use Too Faced Hangover, which if you watched my last video, what's in my makeup bags, I did show this. This is kind of like... It has coconut water, probiotic based ingredient, and skin revivers. So, and it is silicone free. So it's not like that thick. I hate that thick kind of um, primer. I don't like it. It feels like plastic. It's just like on my face. I don't like it. So I like this. It's kind of like more like a moisturizer. So I'm just going to use this. I'm going to put it all over my face. All right. So I'll just put this all over my face um and I only do this when I do like my foundation and stuff if I don't do foundation I don't put anything on my face which I probably should as a moisturizer but I don't so just gonna put that everywhere make sure it's nice and moisturized I'm going to kind of dry it off a little bit. Sometimes I put too much. But that's alright. It'll dry and it'll soak into my skin. So I have really dark circles under my eyes, y'all. And I've had them for like my whole life. Like I don't... I think it's from being malnourished. I don't know. Because I don't really eat too many vegetables. So yeah. But anyway... And sorry about this lighting. I have like the window open right here to kind of like bring in more sunlight. But whatever, we're just going to work with what we got. For now, um, I don't have a ring light as I said in my previous video, but I will be getting one. Y'all just please bear with me. So next I'm going to do my foundation. And I use the Dream BB Pure from Maybelline. That is what I use. I use 120 medium sheer tint. And this isn't full coverage, you guys. It's just like, I don't feel like it covers much. I feel like it just gives me more of a color to my face. So, yeah. And this is the beauty blender that I use. What I do, I just squirt it on here. As much as I think I need, if I need more, I can always use more. Um, and then I kind of just fold it, go like that. And then I'll dab it on my face in different places. If y'all see me looking over here, it's because I'm looking in the mirror. Um, today I'm doing it in the bathroom just because I don't have a mirror in my bedroom yet. Um, or in my son's room just because we're remodeling the whole house so we really we don't have much set up yet all we have is dressers and beds in our room right now but I'm going to be getting maybe I'll get one today at Walmart I'll be getting one of those stand-up um, like those long mirrors you know what I'm talking about y'all at Walmart so I can start using that because we have a dresser, but it didn't come with a mirror. So and it's the mirror that my um, fiance had when I first got with him. So my skin is peeling, y'all. We went to the beach um, a few weeks ago. Probably like. Let's see. It's probably like three weeks ago now. We went to the beach and I am still peeling. My face isn't peeling that bad. But I don't know. You can't see it. 
my arms are kind of done peeling yeah you can't see it in there but i was peeling pretty bad like it was nasty it was chunks of skin just falling off it was so nasty all right and then i'm gonna do my my concealer which i'm just gonna do my um eyelids and underneath my eyes I don't know how to contour none of that, so I don't really worry about my T-zone. I guess that's where y'all put concealer is in your T-zone. I don't know. I don't do much of that, so I have no idea. I just put it on my eyelids and underneath my eyes. What I use is Born This Way by Too Faced from Sephora. Oh, y'all. I don't think I've told y'all yet this yet. I know I told y'all I was going for my CNA. Um, because I wanted to go to school to be an RN, but I know I haven't said this yet. A year ago, I went to a nine-week course to become a dental assistant because I was going to go to school for a dental hygienist. Well, I've always been debating between dental hygienist and a RN, so... I wanted to be an RN, you know, I went into the dental field. I was like, no, I don't think I want to do this for the rest of my life. So I switched back to going to school for an RN. Um, I haven't started school yet, but I wanted to go to school for an RN, which I was going to go for my CNA, then LPN, then RN. So I can keep, you know, getting a pay raise as I went to school. So then I forgot all about my dental assistant um uh certificate that I went to school for because last time I worked as a dental assistant was last year in at the end of October. So I forgot all about it until Brandon reminded me, which those of y'all that don't know, Brandon is is my fiance. He was like, "Why don't you go back to being a dental assistant because as of right now i'm working in a nursing home as a housekeeper because i was going for my cna and then i was going to just transfer from housekeeper to cna in that facility that i'm in so then all right i'm about to use my powder fit me powder shade 15 light so then i started applying for jobs and I got to thinking, I was like, I'm just gonna go for dental hygiene because a dental hygienist and an RN, they both make the same amount of pay. But an RN, obviously, if I was an RN, I wanted to work in a hospital. And those of you that are RNs or have done your research, hospitals, they're either gonna, you have to work 12 hour shifts, you're on call sometimes and you probably have to work like every other weekend if not every weekend and I have a almost five-year-old he'll be five in September and I have a fiance and I'm not trying to you know spend my life working when and not having family time when if I'm a dental hygienist we work Monday through Friday have a all weekends you know we have off every weekend we have holidays off as an rn you don't have holidays off at all you'll be lucky if you get a holiday off so now needless to say i'm doing a career change um i am I'm gonna go for dental hygiene which is the same amount of schooling also rn is two years and also a dental hygienist is also two years so i mean i'm not missing out on anything so yeah that's what i'm doing for my career oh and y'all i started applying for dental assistant jobs like last i want to say probably like a week ago maybe over the weekend i did and this morning i was at work and i got a call from a number that's like an hour away from here and i was like oh well maybe this is like a dental place because i remembered i applied for a dental place in that area so i answered and it was it's a endodontist office 
and they need an assistant. So I go tomorrow at 8.15 in the morning for a working interview. Those of you that don't know what a working interview is, it's where you basically you go in for an interview, like a talking interview. And then after that, they will have you they will have you work for as many hours as they feel like just to see how you you know how you work how you uh i guess like relate slash i don't know communicate with like co-workers so i do that tomorrow at 8 15 and then like 30 minutes before i got off today i got another phone call from a another dental office in the same area and they want me to come in on Friday at 2 o'clock for an interview. So, y'all, I have two interviews. One tomorrow, which is Thursday, and one on Friday. So, y'all, please, please pray for me. Keep your fingers crossed. Please, dear Lord, I need this job. So, oh, and also a working interview you get paid for. I forgot to mention it. So, yeah, I'm thinking positive. I am praying because housekeeping right now, I'm getting minimum wage. I mean, granted, my job is only t like 20 minutes away, 15, 20 minutes away. And it's right by my son's um, daycare. But I need more pay. I have bills to pay. And by the time I, like, I'm getting by. But if it wasn't for Brandon, I would not make it paycheck to paycheck. I mean, he helps me with bills. But my part of the bills that I pay, I would not have enough money left. So, yeah, y'all please pray for me. Alright, so I'm done with that. I'm going to do my eyeliner next. No, I'm going to do my eyeshadow next. And I don't always wear eyeshadow, y'all. Um, I'm just kind of doing this just for the get ready with me part. Just so y'all can see like what I do when I really get ready. Naked 3 Urban Decay Palette. That's what I'm going to be using. And I'm going to be using the shades. Right now I'm going to be using Limit. Which is this one right here. So I'm going to use this one. And that one I kind of just put... I start from the outside and I work my way inside just like on the crease right there. And y'all, I have no idea what the correct way of doing eyeshadow is. So y'all just bear with me. Um, If you want to give me tips down below, that would be great. I don't really know how to do makeup. I kind of just do it my own way. What I feel like looks good. So if y'all want to give me tips, you can. Alright. Next, I'm going to be using this kind of like sheer color. It's called Dust. So I'm going to use that. And that's just going to go right here on the inside of my lid. And not all the way over to the corner. I'm going to stop it like right here. And then later on, I'm going to blend it out. See, I kind of just dab it on there. So just dab, dab, dab. And now, y'all, this is just what I do. I don't know if I'm doing it right, like I said. But if y'all want to leave me some tips down in the comments, I'd appreciate it. Because I really have no idea what I'm doing. I just taught myself. And I feel like this is what looks good for me. So. So I'm going to go back to the first shade. Limit. And I'm going to use that. <sighs> Blow it off a little bit. And this, I just. Basically do the same thing. Just to blend it out a little bit. So. Oh, and y'all, not this Sunday, as y'all know, but the following Sunday is Father's Day. <sighs> so, Brandon wants to go to, I can't say where it's at, but it's like a, 
a place it's like a river i guess kind of like a like you go tubing down the river but we're gonna rent some kayaks and kayak down the river it's i believe it said like an eight to eight and a half mile um journey down the river which you have to paddle that far y'all i've never kayaked in my life mind you so my arms are going to be so sore but it'll be worth it as long as he enjoys it that's all that matters anyway we're gonna go there we're gonna kayak and it says along the way there are like um there's like places where you can stop you can eat at so i think i'm going to bring a cooler or something well i don't know because we'll be in a canoe so i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do y'all but we're gonna figure it out there's little places to stop along the way so probably gonna do that i don't know what else is there to do but i'm gonna vlog that for y'all so y'all can see what we do that day what all is there i looked at pictures online and it looks so beautiful and there's like pictures of alligators and stuff y'all i do not want to go in a canoe just for that reason if y'all are wondering what i'm doing i'm just kind of cleaning up the the eyeshadow right here. That's what I forgot to do. Y'all forgot to do my eyebrows. But um, I'm going to be vlogging for that for y'all. Vlogging for that for y'all. I cannot talk. Vlogging. Oh my gosh. Vlogging. I will be vlogging that for y'all so y'all can see. Oh, that's what I was saying about the alligators. Y'all, I've never canoed before and I don't like being in a canoe or anything smaller than a boat on the river because of the fact of alligators. I am definitely afraid I'm going to get eaten by an alligator. I'm the same way in the ocean. I'm scared I'm going to get eaten by a shark. Y'all, I'm just a big, I'm just a big scaredy cat. So... If y'all don't see that vlog up, just know an alligator ate me. And I love y'all. This girl is scared. Why is this one so dark? I don't know what's going on with these eyebrows today. Anyway. So now I'm going to go on to my eyeliner. Oh, I still didn't throw this one away, y'all. It's gone. Alright. So for eyeliner, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Mega Blast. And it is in the shade Blackest Black. So I'll just put it on my waterline. And then I put it like if you on this line right below your eyelashes, your top lashes. Oh, something to my eyeball. Y'all, I hate when I do my eyeshadow and I get something on my top eyelid. Stupid. Anyway, so next I am going to, y'all, I'm going to attempt to put on these false eyelashes for the second time. I cannot promise y'all anything, and if you guys want a tutorial on how to put them on, um, just, wow. If y'all have watched my last video of what's in my makeup bag, I did a tutorial on these eyelashes that I have. And it said glue included on the front and I said it didn't come with no glue. Y'all, the glue is right here taped on the back. <sighs> Y'all, I'm a certain kind of special. Alright, so we're going to try this glue that comes with it. And I need, it's best if you use tweezers. 
when you try and put these on just because it's easier because your fingers are bigger obviously so i'm gonna do my left one first and y'all normally i would wipe off that eyeliner that i got off that i got on my eyelid but this eyelash is gonna cover it so i'm not worried about it all right so you get the glue and you just put some on the outside Like I said, if y'all want a tutorial on this, I will show y'all, but. And I am not the best at this, so. Do not. Don't judge me. This is only the second time. This is why it aggravates me. I like this other glue better. This is the glue that came with the first set of eyelashes that I got, which was from the dollar store. I just like this one better, so I'm gonna use this one. I was gonna tell y'all something and I forgot. Oh, sorry if you can hear those birds in the back, that window is open. And they're just having a good old time outside, I guess. Also, if y'all have any tips on how to put these on easier, please comment down below. Cause... Cause I need the easiest way to put these on. Obviously, I am no pro. See y'all, it's like not. Y'all, oh my gosh. I'm gonna put these on and I'll be right back y'all. All right y'all, they are on, they look weird. This corner is not all the way down, but I really don't care, they're getting on my nerves. So anyway, when I have them on, I take my mascara. This is CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. Um, and I just kind of do them on my, uh, my natural eyelashes just to make it blend in more. You don't want to go too heavy on it because you want to try and not get it on your fake eyelashes. You kind of just want to give your real eyelashes a black color so they blend in. All right, so now I and pretty much done my makeup i just put on some lip gloss or some lipstick and i just noticed i did not contrast this video but that's okay all right so i'm going to be using the satin gloss flavored lip shine from victoria's secret and i'm just going to put a little bit of that on I 
and that is all I do, y'all. Sometimes I wear lipstick. Um, most of the time I don't. Most of the time I don't even wear lip gloss. I just figured I'd wear it today. Alright, I think that is it. I don't think there is anything else to talk to you guys about as of right now. Um, just know... Ew. I just stuck my finger in something and I don't know what that is. It was in the sink. Anyway, so that is all I have for right now. Um, please keep y'all's fingers crossed for tomorrow and Friday. I hope I need one of these drops. So I hope, I hope, I hope that I get one of these. Um, the one for tomorrow is an assistant for an endodontist. Those of you that don't know what an endodontist is, it is basically a dentist that saves teeth he does root canals pretty much he is a specialist so or she it could be a she too um endodontists are specialists that save teeth they do root canals so that's that one and then the one on friday is i believe it's a pediatric dentist which has it has ortho and it has regular dentistry in it so i would love to work with little kids I love working with little kids. I did it for two weeks um, when I worked at the previous dental place that I worked at. And it was so much fun, y'all. They are so cute. And I just really, all I did was brush their teeth and take x-rays of them. Some of them won't let you brush their teeth or take x-rays. But um, that's fine. You just have to let the dentist come in and look at their teeth. Which that could be a challenge too. So mainly we just get the um, kids to sit in their parents' lap. But anyway, y'all, keep your fingers crossed for tomorrow. Give it a thumbs up for these two interviews that I have to do, one tomorrow and one on Friday. Please comment down below um, some makeup tips, some tips on putting my eyelashes on, and um, post video ideas that I can do for y'all. Um, I have a few of them coming up, but if y'all can please give me some videos ideas, ideas that y'all would like to see. Comment them down below and I will see y'all tomorrow guys. Bye. Love y'all.